Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing a bonus reading for you guys. You have the highest viewership, so I appreciate you guys so much. Um, I wanna go ahead and let you know that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates for you and maybe leave the rest for someone else. You can also check your other signs and placements, see if those readings resonate better. Also, please keep in mind the energies can reverse or flip-flop. And that is not unusual in a general reading. As always, guys, don't try to force yourself into a reading that's just simply not for you. Spirit, can I take a view of the sign of cancer? Show me the energy from the sign of cancer. There we go. All right, Cancer, you are, wow, you're starting out as the Empress. Nicely done. We have the Ace of Swords in the reverse, and we have the Ten of Cups. Wow, okay, so this is some really strong and good energy here. Um, with the Empress, you know your value, you know your worth, you are, you know, basically sitting back and receiving. You've done a lot of hard work in the past, and now you're in this receiving mode. Um, I feel like you guys are looking really good. You're moving nicely into the in the world, and I also feel like you're you're prosperous here. So your money looks good. You're happy. It's like you're kind of sitting back here, Cancer, and you're allowing everything to just flow into you, and it's leading to all of this abundance and happiness here. Um, I, I'm definitely seeing that some of you guys have entered into a relationship and you're very happy, very content with that. Now, with the Ace of Swords in the reverse, there could be something that you are you have a lack of clarity about, or it could be somebody that you're not speaking to right now. And this is kind of still in your energy a little bit, but predominantly you're in this Empress energy. You're you're just in this high vibrational receiving mode and you're very content, very happy. All right, so let's see who's in your energy. Show me who is in Cancer's energy. All right, person, your energy has a page of cups in the reverse, the Hierophant, sign of Taurus, and the star card in reverse, sign of Aquarius. So this person that's in your energy, I feel like they have feelings and emotions for you, but they're kind of holding them back. This is somebody who, even when they express emotions, um, they could express themselves a little bit immaturely. This person may be in another commitment, or they do want commitment with you. We'll have to clarify to see. However, with the star card in reverse, it's like this person is giving up hope. They're, they're beginning to feel like their dreams have been crushed here. So, let's look at the energy between the two of you. Their energy is very different from yours. You're very open. They're kind of closed. You're very happy, and they're feeling kind of like crushed here. So, this must be somebody from your past. Show me the energy between these. Thank you. Yeah, this is somebody that uh, there's been an ending with. Lovers in reverse. You may feel this person is a soulmate. They may be a soulmate, but with the lovers in reverse, there's been an ending here. You may have had a choice between two people, or they did, perhaps even both. Let's see what's affecting this connection. Okay, strength card in reverse and the wheel of fortune. So what's affecting the connection is you have some fears. Your fears are about what's unknown, what you lack clarity in. So they, on the other hand, want things to begin turning in a more positive manner. They're trying to, to bring in good karma. They're trying to have things turn in the direction actually of a commitment. So this is a, I would have thought that it would have been opposite, but this is what's affecting the connection. So this could be past energy or it could be underlying latent energy here. 
because on the surface cancer you're doing extremely well and for most of you i feel like you legitimately are but with regard to this connection you just don't have any clarity about this connection itself and i do feel that you're not currently speaking with this person so it's because they're you know of this lack of clarity that you have fears in relation to this connection so let's see um Let's see the outcome. Show me the outcome. Thank you. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, this person has a growing impatience with regard to the situation. I feel like you're just not investing. Um, you're both looking at this and thinking that this didn't turn out the way you thought it would. Now, at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands. Interesting. So, the Page of Wands can indicate good news coming in. Um, it could also indicate flirtation. It could indicate a message. But it's, it's typically about good news. So, let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Empress here for Cancer? All right. Again, that Ten of Cups and the Magician in the reverse. So, you have this happiness that's in your life. That's what's making you feel high vibrational, abundant. Um, I feel like overall, your energy is really moving in a very positive direction. But there's this one li little thing here that is still kind of stuck in your energy. And it has to do with this connection. This um, connection that did not manifest the way you thought it would. Um, I feel like you're kind of in this energy of moving forward. I feel like there was a tower moment that occurred here for you. And you decided at some point that this was over. This was done. It was not going to manifest. And so you were moving forward into your own happiness. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse? Yeah, it's like it's a clear cut decision that you've made here cancer all right we have the six of coins and the page of pentacles in the reverse again i feel like you're not speaking to this person um i do feel that in the past you were very generous with this person um you don't know if this person is still giving their energy to more than one situation or not but you do feel you you do fear that things are over between the two of you or that this person was never going to offer you anything that they really didn't have serious intentions here um in this connection so you're you're second doubting this the entirety of this connection you're doubting whether or not this person was ever serious about offering you anything at all. Um, you're, you're wondering if this person was giving to more than one situation the entire time. Um, and you're wondering if perhaps you fooled yourself that this person was generous and kind. And in fact, they were quite stingy. So I, I feel like this relationship is bringing up a lot of fears. And it uh, looks like it's dealing with your own judgment, you know, fearing that perhaps you didn't make a good judgment call in this situation. So I do feel like most of this is internal and it's like you're processing all of this internally. I don't feel like you're, you're talking with this person. So it's not like something you're processing through with them. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, because you have a new beginning. You guys, most of you have a new beginning here that's making you very happy, but you are still holding on to some vestiges of this past connection, um, and that makes you a little bit guarded. I don't feel like you're giving to the situation, but I feel like you're processing it, okay? So let's look at this person's energy. Why is these page of cups in reverse? Why is the Page of Cups? Thank you. The Sun and the Two of Wands. Okay, so the person that's in your energy, I do feel like they are, <laughs> they see you as happiness, Cancer, but I feel like they 
I don't know, this person holds back. This person feels that when they were with you, they were happy. They had the world in their hands. If they could have anything they want, they would choose you. But something ended this connection. I do feel like this this uh, person is planning to come forward, but they're not currently in that position. They're in a planning stage. I also feel like they, they've had a wake-up call of some sort here. Let's see why the Hierophant is here. King of Swords, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo here. Taurus, like I said earlier. Why is this Hierophant here? All right, so we have the King of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. So, this person that's in your energy, Cancer, I do feel like this person is trying to be honest. I feel like since this ending, they've had some sort of a wake-up call. They want to move things into a better place, into a happier place. I do feel like this person is coming clean, either with you or with someone else that they are in a commitment with. Um, what are they coming clean about? Well, they're coming clean about a loss, an ending. So it's just unclear to me whether this person is coming clean about with someone else that they have been involved with. Because for some of you, clearly, this person was giving their attention to more than one person. And that's why you felt they could never really give you a legitimate offer. So if this person um, ended things between the two of you, they're coming clean to the person that they are currently with. And they're going to try to move things into a more positive place. But for some of them, I'm seeing that this person wants a commitment with you. And the ending in this connection is what has affected that. There's been an ending here, and this it's made this person get honest with themselves about what they really want. So, either way, it's like this person is stuck up in their head. Why is the star card here? I don't see them actually doing anything. I see them really being stuck in their head. I see them, you know, doing a lot of overthinking, analysis, paralysis. All right, star in reverse. They want to reverse things. Yeah, they want to they want a reversal. They're feeling hopeless. They want to have hope back into their life. They want to heal this connection. They want to balance things out between the two of you. Um, but they just don't know how to go about doing it. So again, I'm seeing that thinking, 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 but I don't see them really do it. They're thinking, they're planning, they're in their fields a little bit, and then they pull away from that. They're just in this analysis paralysis. I mean, that's, that's a frustrating situation. No wonder you're fed up here. All right, so let's look at the energy between the two of you. King of Cups reversed, water sign energy. So you could be dealing with another water sign, another Cancer like yourself, Pisces or Scorpio, but I, I really feel like this person um, is just really focused on you. I do feel like they're holding back their feelings in a big way. They know they have these feelings for you, but they also know that you're in a high energy and they know that you're not happy with them. They know that you are pissed with them, that you are, oops, I don't know why I put that there. They know that, that you are definitely, you know, pissed with them that, you know, over this ending. So it must have ended badly. Um, hang on just a second. Let me pull the card for your side. There we go. Oh, yeah, because you told them off. Knight of Swords. Interesting. Interesting. So you you told this person what you thought, and I don't feel like you were gentle about it, Cancer. 
you told them why that you felt this connection didn't come together. And it looks to me like you let this person have it. It may have even been an argument, but if so, it was mostly you saying what you needed to say. This person has shut down. They're emotionally shut down. You may have felt like this person was trying to emotionally manipulate you as well. Either way, this person knows you're pissed. They know that you're pissed. And some of them either suspect or know that you're moving on with someone else. Um, I think it's more of a suspicion. Let's look at what's affecting the connection. Three of coins reversed, four of wands reversed, and the three of wands. Yep. So for a lot of you, it does look like there was third party energy here in one form or another, um, which is what you were suspecting. I do see that what is affecting the connection is an ending of this contract between you and this person. You may have been in a soul contract, but either way, there's an ending in this. And I feel like you are literally afraid that if you get involved with this person, that there will be uh, third party energy, that there will be, that this person doesn't have anything really of value to offer you at this point. So I do feel like you ended this connection. I feel like it was you who made that decision. The person in your energy, they feel like you're coming back to them. They feel like it's only a matter of time till you come back to them, which is a little bit arrogant. I'm not going to lie. Um, so, and I do see that there's been an ending in this, this contract between the two of you. Let's look at the outcome because I don't really see you doing that. I... I I don't. I don't see you doing that. But this person seems to think it's going to happen. And that's what they're waiting for. They're waiting for a change in a positive direction. All right. So we have the four of coins. We have the seven of wands. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. Oh, look at that hanging out over there. Three of cups and the knight of cups. <laughs> so in your outcome, I feel like um, I don't see either of you really making any moves towards each other initially. Now, the person that's in your energy, Cancer, I'm going to tell you, they want to come back together with you. You may wind up bumping into this person. They, If they know where you go and, you know, kind of uh, where you might be, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them to show up and just kind of make it look like it's an accident because they're trying to figure out how to, how to heal this connection, how to balance this out and still save face. And so what I'm seeing here is that they're going to try to, you know, come back into your energy in a very sly kind of way so that they can kind of bring things up with you. How that's going to be, I don't know, but the goal for them is to, to reunite with you. Um, you're both kind of standing your ground, not investing in the connection not really acting like you even know each other, to be honest. You're you're both defensive and you're both kind of ignoring each other. And I don't see either of you stepping back from that. So this person feels that their only choice, their only way is to kind of bump into you in some form or another. Now in your energy, you're just working on your healing. You don't have any intention of trying to come together with this person. They are still in your energy and you are still holding on to them, but you're also very defensive towards them and you are moving in the direction of a, something brand new here. Um, so I do feel that you're healing yourself. I feel like some of you may even be going through some kind of ascension here as well. Um, so I would look for this person to try to bump into you. I'm telling you, they're going to show up when you're not expecting them. I, I feel like when they do, it's going to be kind of uh, flirty energy. It's going to kind of, that's where we're getting this page of wands. 
They're going to just kind of show up. They're going to try to flirt with you. Bottom of the deck is the two of coins. Yeah, that's, that's them weighing up those pros and cons of contacting you. See, they don't want to lose face. They don't want to step back from this role that they have where um, they're being silent, strong, and, you know, standing their ground. But the thing is, is they've been going back over this, looking at this situation, reviewing it. It's like they can't get you out of their mind. And so they're going to, in some manner, find a way to make contact through some method. And it's not going to be something, it's going to be like something you're not going to expect. All right. I'm going to pull a few of these cards for you. Let's get one of these and I'll get one up from my other deck and we'll see. Because I like these. I, I use them for myself a lot as well. And I, I put them together just like this. So, all right. So you have frustration. Your frustration is not wasted energy if it is channeled positively to create a better outcome for yourself. Embrace frustration and work with it, not against it. That's good advice. And then we have perseverance. You may feel like you're getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. You, you definitely have some wonderful changes ahead. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of happiness coming in through this newbie. Um, this new beginning, but this person from the past is going to pop up somehow, somewhere. All right. I hope that this has been helpful for you guys. I want to say again, I, I deeply appreciate you, um, watching my channel and hitting that like button and subscribing. Um, if you have resonated with this reading at all, do that right now, hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. But until I see you in your monthly reading for March, Namaste.